is Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. That's right. What's the pestilence? Not having no food. That's like a disease. Not having no food. That's like a plague that the Most High gonna put on, on, on scatter out throughout the world. It's mainly America. That's like a plague, man. And it tells you in uh, Exodus chapter 20 that that uh, that Egypt is known as the house of bondage. And it tells you in Deuteronomy uh, 5 and uh, chapter 5 verse 6, it tells you that Egypt is a house of bondage. Okay? And this is known as spiritually Egypt, pursuant to Revelations uh, 11 and 8. Okay? So we in bondage. Read that again for me. Right. This is Jeremiah 44 and 13. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt. Right. As I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. That's what you're going to die of. Famine. You see? That's a plague that the Most High going to put on you. And it's coming real soon, man. You people are going to be digging out the trash. Hold on, let me get, let me, let me get germ. Let me, hold on. Let me bag this up. I got one to add to it. Just okay. Until you get done. Uh, you, you people going to be digging out the trash. You're going to be eating your own flesh. You see? When it come, man. On every side, man. All right, I got this in, uh, this Isaiah, uh, 9 and 20. It says, uh, uh, and he shall stretch out, he shall, he shall stretch on the right, hold on, it's a lot, and he shall snatch, yeah, he shall snatch on the right, on the, it's a lot, and he shall snatch on the right hand and, and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. So that's telling you, so that's telling you right there that you're going to be eating your own flesh, man. You're going to consume everything on your left and right hand side. And before you know it, you're going to be eating your own flesh. You see? So that's what that's going into. All right. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 15. The sword is without, and the pestilence, and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. Mm -hmm. And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. Mm -hmm. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like a dove of the valleys and of them mourning everyone for his iniquity that's right read that again so i can catch it because right, i'm about to turn this uh i got to turn this light on book of ezekiel the light hold on right, like let me see the light come on on here yeah okay. book of ezekiel 7 15 and 16 the sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. Mm -hmm. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. Yeah, he that is in the field is in the in basically the world. You see, because because most high gonna send this plague, man. So you you got them already dying left and right, but it ain't hit America, man. So called America, man, it's coming, and that's what we hasting on, man. That's what we send prayers up for. You see, so the most high can hurry up and bring this destruction to this place. You know? And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. That's right. But they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys. All of them mourning, everyone for his iniquity. That's right, man. Cause you people not gonna want to come in the cities because it's gonna be so hectic man it's gonna be so wild out here man that that people are gonna be running into the mountains city gonna be cut off man 
You know? This is Isaiah 51 and 19. These two things are coming to thee. Mm -hmm. Who shall be sorry for thee? Right. Who shall be sorry for the nation of Israel? You know? Hold on. Let me get. Let me jump here, right here. Hold on. Hold what you yeah. got. This is uh to prove to prove that the city gonna be cut off, and people gonna be going into the mountains. Just finna show you right here. It says uh, this second Ezra 15 and uh, I'm gonna start at uh, uh, all right. I start at uh, 14. It says, Woe unto the world, this second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and destruction draweth nigh. And and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and the sword in the in their with with Salat. Let me read that again. It says, For the sword. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and the one people shall stand up to fight against another, and the and and swords in in their hand. For there shall be a sedition, meaning a, a great rebellion. Mm -hmm. okay. You see, a great rebellion. Why? Is because of that famine gonna be kicking in. You see, that's why you got you. That's why you got people uh, fighting right now with the occupy the world fighting right now is because they're losing everything they got mainly these edomites because jake ain't got nothing he ain't, he ain't got nothing okay. you see so that's mainly the edomites fight but jake ain't got no business out there with them because that's not their fight and then that's also set up for the elites to practice on you idiots for when the real thing jump off you see? So it's already happening. All right? This verse 16. For there shall be a sedition, this second Ezra uh, 15 and 16. For there shall be a sedition among the men and inviting, uh, inviting one another, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes and the uh, course of their actions shall stand in their power so what whether you got whether you got guns bombs however it may be that's how it's gonna be it's gonna be total chaos but the elect weapons are not carnal so we're not gonna have that bullshit we want the spiritual power given from the heavenly father and his son you how about shit how was shot so we're not gonna deal with that bullshit that bull, them fucking bullshit ass guns. And then they, and then I'm gonna hit you with something else. They just passed the uh, you know, where it been, his brother's been watching the news. They passed that uh that NDA uh uh law where it basically it's a national uh defense act law to make America a battlefield. Mm -hmm. So if you got seven days worth of food, you're a terrorist. If you got guns, you're a terrorist. If you got four fingers missing, you're a terrorist. You see? So that's what they, they, setting, up, they setting it all up, man, to besiege America. And two-thirds going to get caught up in it. Now I'm going to finish this. This second Ezra 15 and uh, 16. It says, For there shall be a sedition among men, and invading one another. There shall not regard their kings nor their princes and their and their course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. So that's why they're gonna be going into the mountains. You see, that's why they're gonna die off in the mountains. And it said, for because of the, their pride the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be and men shall be afraid so that's telling you right there mm -hmm. that's going to be the chaos that's going on 